everyone welcome to brown beautiful as you can see today i've got my traditional avatar on this look is inspired by priyanka chopra's look from bajira mastani if you haven't guessed it already uh this was um requested by one of my subscribers from england and she also very sweetly sent me a photograph she's i think quite miffed that most of the youtube tutorials are centered around uh the pika padukone's look in that same film I I had to rely on the photo that she sent me and this is what I've come up with. So uh, I hope that you like this look and if you want to know how I achieved it then please stay tuned and keep watching. So here I am using an ice cube all over my face. This is equal parts rose water and equal parts water. Once I'm done icing my face, I'm going to pop some argan oil on. This is by Josie Moran and I really love, love, love how light this, um, this oil is. So it's a great base for your foundation or moisturizer or whatever you're planning to apply next. So after I applied the argan oil, I am going to move in straight with the foundation and today I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation with my Makeup Forever foundation mixed in together and I'm going to pop this on with my Beauty Blender. The Makeup Forever foundation is a little dark for me but I have mixed it um, with the Luminous Silk just to give it that right color and a little bit of a dusky look because I see that Priyanka has a little bit of a dusky look going on in this um, photo. After the foundation, I'm going to move straight to the eyebrows. Priyanka, um, in this photograph that was sent to me, has definitely done her eyebrows up. I mean, they are darkened and I think they have like this dark brown shade going on. Dark brown looks rubbish on me, so I need to, you know, go in with black. I'm not going to fill them in entirely like the way she's done, but I'm going to give it some definition and fill it up as much as I possibly can. Next, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. Although it looks like she has just a mono shadow all over her eyes, there's definitely a primer action going on and it doesn't look flat, it does look luminous. I'm going to be using the Matte Nude Palette from The Balm Cosmetics and I'm using the color Rosin. Just lightly blend that eyeshadow all the way up to the crease. Now I'm using another brush to slightly blend those edges because we don't want any harsh lines. So now I'm going to use the Perversion Eyeliner just to um, darken the waterline. On my bottom waterline, I am going to use the Rimmel Nude Eyeliner. Today I'm going to use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. If you blob your mascara like I just did, then all you need is an oil-free makeup remover. Dip a cotton bud into it and then clean uh, the area where you've messed it up and then go back and apply the eyeshadow as we did before. We go back with the Rimmel Nude Pencil and just highlight the inner corner of our eyes. We're going to clean up under the eyes with Urban Decay's Naked Concealer. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender to blend it into my skin. Now I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. Bianca's face is really contoured in this photo. It's very bright in the front of her face and very contoured to the sides of her face. So that's what we're going to do. For the highlight, I'm going to use Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. Now I'm going to pat it in with a beauty blender. You can use a brush if you wish. I almost forgot to contour through the nose, so that's what I'm going to do now. Set the contoured areas, I'm going to use MAC Blunt. 
On my cheeks, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Semi-Precious Pearl. Just on the very apple of my cheek, I'm going to use my current favorite blusher. Uh, this is the Kardashian Beauty one. For my lips, I'm first going to apply lipstick. I'm going to go over it with two lip pencils from MAC. And then I'm going with the burgundy lip pencil. So I'm going to use the same burgundy pencil that I used earlier for the for my lips uh, to draw that um, pin. I suggest you go out and buy it instead of doing it because it's a pain in the neck to do it. But I'm going to do it right now because I don't have a bindi that looks like that. So that's the half moon shape that I did. Not very well, I'm afraid, but I'm not very good with traditional looks, so, um, so well, you know. I'm going to use my current favorite, that is the Ramel Brow Gel to do my eyebrows. I've realized that for all these filmy looks, I seem to have to use the brow gel a lot um, and also do my eyebrows. I'm not very happy with that, but needs must. To complete this look, I am going to start putting on some of the jewellery uh, just to bring everything together. So this is the finished look you guys. I hope that it is not a big disappointment. My gigantic nose is right there in the center of my face and now to accentuate it even further I have a nose ring on. Now traditional looks don't really suit me and that's why I kind of stay away from them. I don't have that very sweet small Indian face that my mum and my sisters are blessed with. This would look fabulous on them uh, but I really loved filming this look and I know it's a request so that's why it was all the more dear to do it uh, so don't get me wrong I really enjoyed it so I hope that you like this look and stay tuned to know who won the makeup giveaway so you guys I am finally announcing uh, the winner of the makeup giveaway video that I did almost four weeks ago I know I should have announced it like a week ago but I couldn't because I was really busy and I was unable to film um, a video to do that and thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for commenting and watching my videos I I thrive on your comments. I really, really do. Uh, so keep them coming. It was really hard. I can tell you that much, but I finally decided who is going to get this. And the name is Mika Sato. I hope I've said it correctly. I believe she's in the Philippines and I am so excited that you won this uh, giveaway. Uh, congratulations. And if you'll email me at kavitainkabul at gmail.com and send me your address, then I will ship it to you directly. The ones who did not win and who also entered the contest, do not fret because there'll be more coming your way. The next one I'm happy to announce is for eyeshadow palettes and I don't know when I'm going to have a contest but I'll have it really soon and everyone will have their chance in the sun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.